Hi all, welcome back to my channel. So today in this channel we are going to today uh, today we are going to uh, understand about the table value parameters in stored procedure. So this is actually on demand video. So I thought of making it. Uh, so let's uh, understand what uh, in my previous video, if one of the video, if you have not visited, I'll uh, uh, add the uh, link in the description where we have understand the different type of the parameters which will be passed in the stored procedures. Like we have input parameters, we have output parameters, right? So likewise, we, we can pass the table valued parameters as well. As the name suggests, if you can see in my screen, right? This is the Microsoft uh, learning site. There they have mentioned the table valued parameters, a value, a parameters, where we can pass a table not we will not be able to uh, will not pass only single value but rather we can pass a multiple values with the help of table uh, valued parameters okay if you see the description or uh, the definition here it clearly states here table valued parameters are declared by using uh, user defined table types right user defined table types you can use uh, when it is says user defined right as we know in SQL Server we have a system defined uh, data types like integer right to store the integer uh, type of uh, data to store the string we have a uh, where care to store the unicode characters as well non unicode characters as we have and where care we have a uh, uh, different type of the sys uh, system generated or uh, system defined data table type uh, data types but if you wanted to define by yourself right that type of the data types we can call as user defined data types. So there it is saying table valued parameters are declared by using user defined table types. So we will have to create a, a new data type and the type of that data type is nothing but a table type. Okay, you can use that data type when once it is created you can use that uh, data type okay as a table valued parameter to send multiple rows of a data to uh, to your SQL uh, using your SQL server so that means uh, when we create input parameters right in store procedure usually we pass uh, a single single values to the parameters right uh, suppose there is a requirement where we I wanted to pass uh, uh, three or four rows right uh, uh, to my tables with the help of the store procedure in that case we will it's very beneficial to use the table valued parameters and it gives a better performance as well so without any further ado, let's go to the demonstration. I'll uh, tell you how we can create it. So first of all, for that we uh, we have to have one table, right? So I'll I'll create quickly a table. Create table and let's say we have a table like customer customer data. So this is nothing having only a few uh, columns let's say mm, I'll keep it as a 50 length for my name column and then only I have let's say uh, city and city would be like uh, where care as well no doubt I care and there I will also place it as 50 and last I'll put gender Okay, and there I'll put it as a 50. It will not require much. So, I'll 10 characters. That is my table for the customer data. And it is going to create, I'm going to create inside my, uh, this test DB database. So, let me execute it. See, the table has been created. To check it, whether the table has been created, just refresh your table inside your database test DB. You can see we have customer data. Okay, now, if you wanted to see as we have just created so there would not be any record but just write a select query to see the content inside this table there is no record right only four now we have a requirement to insert multiple records at once using the store procedure okay that means we need to create a table valued parameters so how we can do it you can see before that I'll show you under the programmability there is a type okay there is a folder type here you can see the system defined data type here you can see the user defined data type user defined table type okay if you have a data type if you created a new data type you can find it here if you created a new table type you will find it here in our requirement we have to create a new table type right if you explain this system data type you can see here date time data types right date times small date times all the system defined data types you can find it here if you create a new data type which is created by a user so you will find it here if you create any table type 
you will find it here and we are going to create a new table type so for that what we need to create is we need to create a type because we are creating a type so create type and then we have to give a uh, like uh, the name of the type okay customer or i'll give cust table i'm giving this name as a type and this is nothing but a table type and here i need to put the columns right so the type the table data type the schema would be exactly the same what we have the table so what we need to do in k i need to put i need to copy and paste so that the schema of my table data type would be same as the table okay because this table type i am going uh, to use to insert the records into my customer data that's why the schema should be same so let me create this type command complete successfully let me refresh this types folder and uh, expand it see here you can see cust table type so what we did till now we have created one table the table is blank now we have created a table value uh, we have created a uh, table type okay this is nothing but a user defined table type and this table is nothing but like customer uh, data table type okay now we will use this type this type as a parameter in the store procedure so for that we have to create a store procedure first right we have not created any store procedure so we have we have to create a store procedure which will be responsible for inserting multiple records in our uh, customer data table right so let's create a procedure and let's say this procedure is for insert so let me say proc insert cust customer data okay and here i am passing uh, uh i am passing the parameters right so for this i need to pass give one variable here and let's say a uh, table valued variable I'll, I'll put the same say table valued customer table valued just for understanding or you can give only this okay cus table parameter let's see param okay and this is nothing but a type of which this type this parameter of or this parameter which i am going to pass in my store procedure is of which type cus table type in uh, most of the cases we pa we make it as like integer right we make it as because it's system type so instead of system type what the data type what the table type i have created i wanted to pass it as so that means this is a variable which is of my customer table type so here begin and then i want it and here i want it to you know insert record insert into where i wanted to insert wanted to insert in my table wanted to insert into my table and taking the data from this parameter table valued parameter this is not simple parameter this is a table valued parameter because the data type of this parameter is nothing but a table valued data type if you can see this is user defined table type okay so all done so we are good here we have done okay so why it is red oh i'm sorry here i think we need to put s okay so this is fine if i am trying to execute it okay so why what it is saying it is saying dml value uh, the table valued parameter this which you have created must be declared as a read only options okay now i'll tell you uh, this particular table uh, parameters right table valued parameter which you have passed it should be read only why it is saying this error is coming up because you cannot use the table valued parameter to do the dml operations we can only do the select we cannot to insert update or uh, delete command for that we need to use as read only we have to pass it as a read only okay so once we will make this table valued parameter as read only then it will allow us to create a store procedure if you can see here 
where we can find the stored procedure go to the program irritability in your database just refresh it maximize it expand it and you can see your stored procedure is right here so what we have done till now we have created one table okay just revise it we have created one table there is no data in the table then to insert the multiple rows in this table at once we need to create a user defined table data type so we have created a new type and the name of the type is this and this type is nothing but of a table type and the schema would be same as of our destination table so once the user defined table type is created we have to pass it as a parameter and now here we have passed this is the second step you can say pass the table valued control z table valued parameter okay so we will uh, use the table uh, table type okay as a parameter as a as a value uh, table value type table type as a parameter in our stored procedure so if you can see i have passed uh, this parameters and the type is this and what uh, uh, what thing i want to do in i i wanted to insert the records in my table using this parameters so this is done now how we can execute this stored procedure right actually we need to provide a actual records right how i need to how i can execute this procedure and uh, make this procedure to insert four or five records at once using this user defined table type so how we can do it i'll tell you as we know for that we have to declare a temporary variable so how we can declare temporary variable we can say first temp where okay and this temporary variable is nothing but of a type table okay that's why other, otherwise uh, we will not be able to insert the uh, rows record inside that okay so that's why we have to make it as a cust table type temporary uh, variable we can say now we have to you know insert the records into it so insert insert into my temp table variable here and values let's say this is uh, what are my columns if i go and check my columns what are those columns let me go to the customer data let me expand it let me expand the columns so what it requires it requires id and the name so let me give my name here and then we have uh, city right so let's give a city here uh, and then we have to give a gender so that is one record similarly what we can do you can add three or two or three records here and just change the values over here right two it would be three and it would be four and here you can here you can change just making a dummy records oh sorry okay so here we have you can see the four records right here i have four records and i am going to use uh, these uh, going to insert these four records i wanted to insert these four records into my table using the stored procedure so i have declared this temporary variable table variable and here i am executing the procedure passing this temporary table variable this uh, table variable okay so let me copy execute and pass it here and that's all okay so if you see here this is the value okay table variable which i am passing into the store procedure and this temporary variable table variable sorry this table variable is nothing but a type of a uh, table type so it will go here and it will uh, insert all my four records into it so just try to execute it 
and if you even uh, you can see here one 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 record and total four records affected so now if you wanted to see how many records has been inserted you wanted to check okay so just execute this query temporary customer uh, data okay i have not changed the uh, gender here i suppose i forgot to do that okay so that's why it is coming like this so if you see here so so the the intention is to make you understand like how we can use the table valued parameters how we can pass it as a parameter in the stored procedure where whenever you have a requirement to insert multiple rows okay as a table into your stored uh, using the stored procedure you can use the table valued parameters okay so what are the steps basically we have three steps first is you have to create a user defined table type okay second is you have to pass that table type as a parameter in your stored procedure third is third you can say you have to declare one declare table table valued variable table val variable and pass it in stored procedure so here you can see so we have created a table type user new user defined table type okay you can see all the user defined table type uh, you can see here under the program eligibility uh, inside the type folder here you can see all the table type once it is done you can create your stored procedure and pass it as a your parameters okay so that parameter should be read only otherwise it will not work okay because it will not allow the dml operation to be performed inside your uh, stored procedure so it is only used for the select query okay you cannot perform insert update uh, on this uh, table variable parameters the third to execute the stored procedure and pass this values okay uh, pass the records or the content which need to be inserted into your table right for that you have to declare the table variable and pass it into your stored procedure that way you can execute so it's a three steps process by which you can create your table valued parameters so if you can see in your uh, microsoft document also it's very uh, beneficial so here we can see the benefits also of using the table valued parameters so this is basically scope to the stored procedure function it's not only in you can use a table valued variable in the stored procedure but you can also used in the uh, functions and dy dynamic uh, trans uh, dynamic c sql statements also okay so here you can see what are the uh, benefits in the table valued parameters the first thing it does not allow uh, acquire locks in the initial population of data so it's very uh, good thing that it is not allowing any locking on your table which is going to insert into your table so there if you can see you can see the multiple benefits restrictions all other things uh, as well which is related to the table valued uh, parameters okay so i hope till now you understood what is the table value parameters how we can create it how we can pass a, a user defined table data type uh, okay table type variable as a parameter in your stored procedure and make your stored procedure to insert, insert multiple records in a table at once in case if you have any queries do let me know in the comment box till that time happy till that time happy learning guys